Well, the Department of Homeland Security announced the deployment of National Troops and National Guard troops to the border and said that would happen today. But when Fox asked the National Guard Bureau in Virginia about that date, they called the reports, quote, over-interpreted. Bottom line, how would these National Guard troops, whenever they're deployed, impact the Border Patrol? To answer that, we are joined by T.J. Bonner. He's the president of the National Border Patrol Council. Thanks for your time today, sir. Thank you. All right, so let me ask you, troops, we were told uh, by many accounts were supposed to start uh, arriving today to help in Arizona. Have they arrived? I'm not sure. I think the larger question is, is how much good are they going to do? We saw under the Bush administration a deployment of 6,000 National Guard troops. They were helpful in a support role, but most people expected them to be out there securing the border. They were not. And I don't expect that this deployment will do that either. What do you need at the border? How, tell us about the current situation. It's completely out of control. What we need are definitely more boots on the ground. We need more support from Congress. We need to turn off the employment magnet, go after those employers who are hiring illegal aliens. We need to support those states who are stepping up and doing something about the crisis instead of having the federal government try and stop them. It's just amazing. How would the Arizona law, uh, which was uh, broken apart this week by uh, federal judge Susan Bolton, how would it have helped you if it stayed intact? Is there enough left there that will provide some help, even though I know the Border Patrol is not specifically mentioned, but the tools that would help police so they can help you? Unfortunately, it gutted the important parts, which would have been to allow police officers to determine someone's immigration status if they had reasonable suspicion that they were in the country illegally. That would have been a tremendous help because obviously in that very small window at the border we're not doing very well at stopping people. Our agents estimate that for every person we catch, two get by us. All right, so if the situation continues as it is now, uh, with the resources that you have now, uh, what are your predictions for the future, you know, six months out, a year, five years out? I don't think we're going to see much change. The last administration that was serious about curbing illegal Im immigration was the Eisenhower administration more than a half century ago. None of the administrations since then have been serious about it, which explains why at this moment in time we have somewhere between 11 and 20 million people in the country illegally. And we know that neither Democrats or Republicans in recent years, as you mentioned, have been able to get anything done on Capitol Hill, some kind of comprehensive legislative reform. Uh, do you think they're playing politics with this issue, especially going into an important midterm election? Do you think they can be pressured both sides to actually come to the table, find some common ground and get something done? I'm not sure that it's possible in an election year. I think that for so many years we have just seen a lack of will on the part of Congress to address this issue. And the big reason is their major contributors on both sides of the aisle, both parties, are the business interests. And business wants cheap labor. Until that ends, we're going to be stuck with this mess. All right, T.J. Bonner, we thank you for your time today and the hard work that you and the men and women who share your job along the border are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Well, in an unusual...